Hello, family, parents, and supporters. My name is Alex Whitmore. I'm an area coordinator here at Indiana State University Residential Life, and I'm going to talk to you today about some important information as your student moves in with us. First, I wanna to talk to you about what all of our residence halls have in common. Each residence hall has air condition and free laundry. I'll say that again. Each residence hall has air condition and free laundry. Our first year buildings are in the Sycamore Complex, the Burford Complex, and the Sanderson Complex. Transfer students will be able to live in Erickson Hall, 500 Wabash, University Apartments, Hines, or Reeve Hall. Please note that some spaces are popular and go quickly, so they may not be available when your student looks in their portal. First year students who are part of a living learning community will only be able to see room spaces designated for their community during housing selection. You can see more details about these different buildings, including some awesome 3D tours on the housing and meal plan option page of our website. You can even take measurements within these 3D tours to make sure everything will fit. The roommate and room choices that your student will find in their housing portal is based on the community for them. When it comes to a community for your student to find, we have a lot of options for them to help them succeed during their time at Indiana State. Living learning communities are just that, a place for students to live and learn together and grow during their time with us. Each community has their own unique experiences and opportunities that are only open to students in that community, and they can make a big place like Indiana State feel a little bit smaller and more like home. Students who opt into one of our specialized communities typically do better academically, get more involved on campus, and make more connections with faculty both in and outside the classroom. We have communities that are focused towards specific majors and colleges on the left in light blue, and communities that are focused around interests or programs that you may be a part of in the dark blue on the right. In our interest-based communities, your student can be in any major so they will meet people studying a lot of different things, but they all will be there because of the common interest they have. And if none of our living learning communities sound like a good fit to your student, we also have our first year experience communities. We've also got break housing as an option for students who know now that they will need to stay on campus during periods where the university is closed. In the end, we've got a place that will be just right. We have a lot of staff on campus in the Residence Life office to help your students succeed during their time here at State. In each of our buildings, we have specifically trained student staff called social justice educators who focus on helping with identity exploration and development and to help in terms of working with others who are different. If you haven't been told yet, we are the most diverse public college in the state. We are very proud of this. We also realize we have students from communities where most people are the same. So coming here, there could be some culture shock. So instead of saying, just deal with it, we help students engage with so many different people who you will see living under one roof. Each floor has a resident assistant who will make sure the floors are safe, but also do events specifically for your student's community. If your student is struggling to get involved, their RA is a great resource to use to help as a guide. Front desk staff are a helpful and friendly resource who stations at the front desk in the main lobby of each residence halls or apartment office. We have nighttime desk coverage in addition to students doing rounds throughout the buildings. All of our residence halls are card swipe secure at the outside doors. Front desk staff are trained to help with questions, mail and packages, but also to see any suspicious activity. We also have three types of professional staff. Assistant hall directors are graduate students living and working in each residence hall. They address escalated conflicts in the community and supervise some aspects of the student staff and things going on in the building. Then hall coordinators, they have completed their master's degree, but they also help enforce policies and work with the student staff as well as the residential curriculum. Area coordinators are the top level of staff in our buildings. They help develop the residential curriculum supervise staff and manage processes within two to four buildings. 